So if you've owned an SSD or really other any mobile device in the past five years or so, or you've even just come across my other video where we tore apart an SSD, chances are you want to know what's actually in one of these guys more than just what they look like. Now we did do a tear down video if you want to check that out, that is linked down below if you do want to go ahead and watch that and then come back to this or you could continue watching this, but the question is, what are actually those parts within the SSD? Now, first off, just like everything else, we need to actually understand what an SSD is. An SSD is just another storage medium like a hard drive or even DNA storage, but, well, at the time of recording, we're not a DNA storage, but unlike the hard drive, it doesn't have little moving parts and other bips and bobs that relies on it actually getting the data. The SSD just needs power and a controller to go ahead and pull the data off of it for you to go ahead and use, hence the name solid state drive because there's nothing actually moving within that drive. Now, the fact that nothing has to move within that drive theoretically means you can have as much data as you want transferred to you as fast as possible without any loading time. But the fact of the matter is we got bottlenecks here and there that do make it faster than normal hard drives, but it is still not as fast as what could possibly be. Now, if you haven't heard of an SSD at this point, then I don't know where you've been living because just about everything now has an SSD option here or there. But the question still remains is what is inside the SSD? We know what it is now, but what is actually inside of it? Well, let's get going. Now, first off, we need to open up our SSD but we won't be showing you how to do that in this video as there's already one link down below. But as soon as you crack into the SSD, we'll first be greeted by the PCB. Now, just like every other piece of tech, an SSD has a PCB or printed circuit board and basically that allows all the parts to be connected together, which is actually pretty good because if they weren't connected together, they probably wouldn't really work. Now, this is usually green in SSDs and really other computer parts because of the fact that when the resin and hardener are mixed together, they create a green color, but some companies do add dye to it to go ahead and make the mix a different color but generally they're green because they're inside of a little box like this and you're never really going to see them. Then we'll find the controller. Now the controller is pretty important here. Now that can also be made by many different companies, not just the one on the branding. The companies can include Samsung, Sandforce, Intel, Interlinx, STEC, just to name a few. Now the job of the controller, as kind of the name suggests, is to control the data stored on the flash modules. Its basic job is to take all the data in and place it within the drive somewhere and then retrieve that data and give it back to the rest of the system. Now, each manufacturer makes their controller a little bit different, so moving from controller to controller will give a different experience with the different features, but you'll get about the same idea from them. And then, as well as that, we also have flash modules. Now, these flash modules in a bigger SSD like this can be really throughout the SSD anywhere, and in something like an MSATA drive, they will be generally piled in one location. Now, every SSD or some sort of storage device will have flash storage because they're pretty important there. Just like the controller, even something like a USB memory stick will still have a controller and some sort of flash memory because without those two things, you can't store any data. Now also at one end, we'll see the interface such as SATA, M.2 or MSATA or even USB if you're pulling apart a USB thumb drive. As well as that, I guess we got the housing and many other traces and little doodads throughout the device that isn't worth touching on because they're very, very small. Now in recent years, we've seen the move from bigger hard drives and SSDs like this down to little things like like M.2 or even little small PCI Express flash based devices. Now, those smaller tech has actually trickled into the larger devices where companies now like Samsung, for example, are putting these mini drives in these bigger form factors, meaning only a half or even a third of the drive is actually taken up with SSD. So if you're pulling yours apart and you find that, don't worry, you still have a full SSD in there. It's just they're saving some money in actual making it where they can just go and make it a lot smaller. So SSDs are very well integrated and not all the parts inside of an SSD are made from one manufacturer. For example, the flash might come from Intel and the controller might come from Samsung, so they don't have to be matching controller and flash. A third party manufacturer could put it together and brand it as their own drive, so you do want to look out there. Now, this video has just touched on some of the basics of actually looking at SSDs and what the actual parts do. If you want more in depth, that we'll have written articles on cpmodel.com, but that's all we have time for today, so like or dislike the video accordingly and give us a sub if you like what we're doing. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Thanks for watching.